today on an all-new Dr. Phil. From Disney star to homeless and in danger. I called in because Orlando, he has a mental problems. So he's burnt so many bridges, no one wants to deal with him. If you can't help, he does not have a chance. Orlando Brown. Out of nowhere, he'll say, Michael Jackson's my father. I own Neverland. Does he want help? Yes, he does. I think that you're experiencing some confusion, and I'm offering to help you. A Dr. Phil exclusive. Orlando Brown is best known for his role as Eddie on the hit Disney Channel show, That's So Raven. As a teen, he won over fans with his charming smile. But now, at 30 years old, Orlando has gone from a promising young actor to a homeless, mentally ill addict. Orlando's friends say they fear the actor is near death. Now, disturbing videos of the former star ranting and raving as well as a string of recent arrests made headlines and had fans very concerned for Orlando's well-being. Take a look. A former Disney star arrested. Orlando Brown, best known for his role on That's So Raven, was arrested for alleged domestic battery and drug possession back in January. In 2014, he struck a plea deal after being accused of threatening to kill a woman and her daughter. He was also arrested on DUI charges in 2013 and in 2011, and for marijuana possession in 2007. Orlando's friends and associates reached out to us desperate for help for the troubled star. Orlando's friend and manager, Solomon Barron, said he was willing to do anything to get us to help save his friend's life. He brought Orlando here to meet me, and here's what happened. Dr. Phil. Solomon. How are you, sir? Oh, uh, not bad. Well, it's good to meet you. It's my pleasure. You are apparently a very nice guy, a very giving friend and a very patient man. <laughs> I try to be. Because you've been uh, uh, you've been hanging in there for your friend Orlando for quite some time. Right. So tell me why we're here and tell me what you're up against here. Well, I called in because Orlando is, I don't want to diagnose him because I'm not professional, but he's obviously delusional. You know, he's financially in shambles. Mm -hmm. His living arrangements is in shambles. His whole life is in shambles right now. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't quite understand that. I took him in uh, maybe about eight months ago. And right. um, he has a drinking problem. He smokes a lot of weed. I mean, he has a really, really high tolerance for anything and everything. And you know, mm -hmm. it's, I, it's gotten out of control. There's nothing mm -hmm. more I can do as far as financially and um, emotionally I'm at my limit. The room I let him stay in, was a disaster. You know, it's like he has, he had no upbringing. Like this problem started a long time ago. I don't know how he even got this far in life. Like mm -hmm. he doesn't carry a wallet, he doesn't have ID. He keeps his money in his sock. And how long did he stay with you? Uh, he's, until he went to jail recently. I had kicked him out after so long. Uh, we got into a big argument. I mean, he woke up delusional thinking that I stole his vape pen. So he started screaming, banging on the doors, and that was the final straw. I had to put him out. He was running around the streets, no shoes on, and uh, he ended up going to jail. Now, you've had problems with him from time to time while he was staying with you. He was, right. He's been there months, right? Right. And things would go okay for a while, but then you've had episodes with him, right? Right. Give me a sense of what I'm dealing with here. Episode-wise, what has happened that's been a problem? That's one example where he wakes up, starts banging on your door and accuses you of stealing something from him. What else has happened? Well, like, we'll be driving and we'll be listening to music and then, you know, he'll just turn the music down and he'll be like, Will Smith is my dad. Can you call him? And, I'm, and I'll look at him, you know, because it's shocking sometimes because it comes out of nowhere. We'll be fine and then out of nowhere he'll say, I'm Prince Jackson. Michael Jackson's my father. I'm, I own Neverland. Sometimes you don't know if he's playing or if you don't know where he's serious. He know we're coming to see Dr. Phil, but he keeps saying, Dr. Phil? Oh, no, that's Steve Harvey. He, he looked like Steve Harvey. But then he'll go back to being fine? Right. Has but, he been violent with you at all? No. Has he stolen anything? No. After um, his career with so many different people and trying to reach out to everyone, his mom, None of the co-stars that he's had in the years, nobody wants anything to do with him. So I, 
accepted the challenge of being his manager, not totally understanding everything, being that, you know, it's my first rodeo. So no one at all wants to deal with him. And then I figured out why. He has a mental problem that he is not addressing. So I said, if you can't get him to recognize his problems, he does not have a chance in life mm -hmm. at a comeback, anything, it doesn't look good for him. So nobody's been willing to help him? Nobody's willing to try to help him? None of his co-stars? Nobody not he's worked lately. with before? No, not late. He's burnt so many bridges, but I, I don't think everyone understands how serious his mental issue is. Mm -hmm. But you've asked for help. Yeah, I've reached out to as many people as I can. I'm just a little person, so. Yeah, and what do they say? There's been a lot of no responses. I, uh, Flavor Flav is pretty close with him, but you know, he's had episodes with Flav and Flav kinda, he can only help him so much. He's tried to help him before, mm -hmm. but you know, he's trying to live his life as well too and secure his future and do the things he need to do. So it's hard for him to help Orlando. Well, and I understand Flav is a, is a nice guy and a, and a caring guy, but it, this just may be over a layman's head in terms of what to do. And you've asked other people, nobody's willing to help. I mean, I'm just trying to find out what the situation is because if I talk to him, I wanna know what resources I have in terms of support and who I could look to in terms of people that would you know, be there for him, support him, uh, encourage him, that sort of thing. And it seems like everybody's turned their back on him. Well, it kind of works both ways because when you figure out all the games and all the things he's doing, he tries to push you away. And he'll just move on to the next person, move on to the next person, and he'll move on to the next person. Mm -hmm. And he, he's ran out of real friends and family to do that with. So now he's just in the world doing the same thing, moving on from one person to the next person, telling mm -hmm. lies and stories and dreams. Why does he think he's here? He knows that he is here to try to receive some type of help. He wants to be able to have another shot at life. He wants to be able to put his life in someone's hands who can really help him. And he thinks that you can do that for him. So he's not disoriented. I mean, he's not disoriented as to person, place, and time. He knows no. who he is, where he is, what he's doing. It's mm -hmm. just his decision making is not good. Well, his decision, yeah, is definitely blurred. And I don't yeah. know, I can't tell you why, but yeah. yeah. But he knows he's here to talk to me. He knows that I'm gonna to try to help him. He understands that. Right. He's here willingly. You ask him to come and he said, sure. Right. And he knows I'm gonna to talk to him, try to help him. Right. Does he want help? Yeah, he does. Does he recognize he's got a problem? Yes, he just said uh -huh. to me this morning that he's glad that he's taking the Seroquel because it helps him with his panic attacks and his anxiety that it helped him. And is that prescription? Yes. And. Is he taking it as prescribed or is uh, he... That I'm not sure. Don't know. Because I, you know, he'll tell you, I'm 30 years old, I'm a grown man. So <laughs> yeah. I have to give him some type of freedom. Well, I'm gonna talk to him and I'm gonna talk to him alone, but I may ask you to join us because depending on how he responds and if I need a reality check, I'll have you come back in, fair enough? Absolutely. Coming up. You have some odd-looking contacts in your eyes. <laughs> They're my Michael Jackson uh, eyelids. My full name is Orlando Brown, Prince Michael Jackson Jr. My father was Michael Jackson. Your father was Michael Jackson. remember that chapter of my life forever. We laughed. We cried. We protected that progressive home and auto bundle day and night. We were all of us dazzling. Like knights sworn to protect our kingdom. We knew it wouldn't last forever, but that's what made it special. I know we'll be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, but it'll never be today again. Just get on the ball. We're not saying Daily Harvest will change your life or that it will be the first of many steps to healthier habits. But we're not not saying that. We can say that Daily Harvest takes care of food so that food can take care of you. Get started today at dailyharvest.com. Hair has always been pretty central to my identity. 
Once I started taking Nutrafol, I could visibly see my hair get thicker. It made my hair stronger, and the breakage is less. At Nutrafol, we want to empower women to have the best hair they can have. Nutrafol is 100% drug-free, natural, and the number one dermatologist-recommended hair growth supplement. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. There's a different way to treat HIV. It's every other month injectable Cabinuva. For adults who are undetectable, Cabinuva is the only complete long-acting HIV treatment you can get every other month. Cabinuva helps keep me undetectable. It's two injections given by my healthcare provider every other month. It's one less thing to think about while traveling. HIV pills aren't on my mind. A quick change in my plans is no big deal. Don't receive Cabinuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or if you're taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabinuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabinuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabinuva, attend all treatment appointments. Every other month, and I'm good to go. Ask your doctor about every other month Cabinuva. If you're over 50, imagine you could turn back the clock on your stiff, achy joints by years. Imagine you could do this without products that just temporarily hide the symptoms and may have side effects. Imagine no more. Introducing InstaFlex Advanced. Get a complimentary sample just by texting MAJOR to 369369. InstaFlex Advanced is different because it targets the root cause of joint soreness and stiffness. It doesn't just cover up symptoms. Instead, it bathes your joints in its unique combination of five key natural ingredients found in no other product. Key ingredients backed by five clinical studies. InstaFlex Advanced is so powerful, you could have better knees in just one week. Maybe that's why it's the number one selling joint brand at GNC. But you can only get your complimentary sample by texting MAJOR to 369369. Plus, text now and we'll include a tube of InstaFlex pain cream with its exclusive oxygenated oil for fast-acting relief from the pain of arthritis, back aches, and sore muscles absolutely free. Text M-A-J-O-R to 369369. Love and Marriage Huntsville is back. This is Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more... Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time about other issues. Do you not? Love and Marriage Huntsville, new reunion part two, tonight at 8, 7 central. We now return to Dr. Phil's exclusive interview. How are you? Good to see nice you. Nice to see you. Have a seat. Alrighty. It's good to meet you. I've just been talking to your friend, uh, Solomon. You've been staying with him for a while, right? Maybe three, four months, Alex. He speaks well of you. Uh, thank you. He thinks you're a very talented guy. You have some odd-looking contacts in your <laughs> eyes. Uh, yeah, they're um, they're my Michael Jackson uh, eyelids. It's for Thriller. Oh yeah. Yeah. So those are like Halloween type. Pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me why you're here. To meet you in person, and also to make sure that uh, I thank you because I know from from afar you actually had a lot to do with uh, my transformation. So, you know, um, thank you so much, and you know, uh, you know, got my family back and. A whole bunch of stuff. So <laughs> yeah, what transformation is that? Just heading to the next level. The being a man in my, in my own life uh, uh -huh. for a while I wasn't you know, acting accordingly. So now that I am, uh, I owe it to people like like you know you and other, all the others that came before yeah. me that I look up to. You've been very successful in your life. You've done a lot of television. You got a lot of fans out there, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, very grateful for that. You guys told Claire you were rumors. I can't believe she believed us. Shampoo, conditioner, flea remover. She's really sweet with dogs. Also sweet with people. That's because she hasn't met us yet. You were on That's So Raven. How long were you on that show? When I started, I was 13. Then I ended at 18. Was that a good thing for you? Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it tremendously. Actually, we were working on something um, to, to basically get get us all back together, the cast, mm -hmm. and uh, also we're on a show called Coach Eddie. Uh -huh. So that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I had a great time. We definitely were all family, as far as um, the show is concerned. But it's, it's you know as far as the off off stage, it was just even more magical. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Do you, do you still speak to Raven? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course, I haven't seen her uh, too much lately, but 
Um, What's your relationship like with her now? Right now, um, it's pretty pretty good. I want to I want to marry her, but I gotta find out a way to to ask her. So um, right about now, I'm just uh, just chilling. <laughs> yeah. So your your career was going along really well, and then it seemed like it kind of took a downturn. Yeah. Well. What happened? Well, a lot of a lot of drinking is what happened. I was drinking a lot, and. Um, I, I just found myself in in a dark place because I couldn't really find everybody, not knowing that it's like kind of like looking for your keys, but when you stop looking, they're right there, type of deal. Yeah. So I start I started to realize what was in front of me, and, and uh, from there, you know, um, now I'm good. But back then, it was the drinking, it was a, a binge of of taco vodka and any kind of vodka I get my hand on, along with some drugs, heavily medicated with with uh, marijuana at the time. Um, and then not only that, but, you know, you still got the crystal meth incident that I had. So, um, you know, and I started to sell it essentially, but, you know, um, just the influence and the, the demons that come with that drug, you know, uh, kind of, kind of took over. So I'm glad I kicked that. So today I'm glad to say I'm four years sober and, uh, you know, it's, it's been, uh, quite a journey. <laughs> yeah. And. How are you doing now, mentally, emotionally, drug and alcohol wise? I mean, just all across the board in terms of your functioning, how are you doing now? Doing well, um, doing very well actually. I'm proud of myself. I never been one that was really too big on addiction. So like I do, I used to do things out of boredom. Um, but then I woke up and, and realized that, you know, I was sleeping next to uh, my, my, my drug of choice. And it's like, damn bro, you got a problem. You know, so now I have that understanding and that peace um, within myself. And, mm -hmm. and plus, you know, I'm doing it for my, my kids as well. You know, every time mm -hmm. I think about, you know, either relapsing mm -hmm. or anything of that nature, it's, it's an impossibility for me because mm -hmm. I just want to see my kids. Yeah. So how many children do you have? Uh, quite a bit, but four that I know of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely looking forward to see them. So. How old are your children? Uh, I, my, my kids are two, one is uh, five, and one is, um, one is actually 11, and the oldest is like 16 to 18. Okay, 16 or 18? Yeah, one of the two. You, you're not sure? Not sure until I get, until I get to in, in front of their faces. I'll be like, uh, like I said, I was, uh, uh, I was a mess for a while, man. What's your two-year-old's name? Two-year-old's name, uh, Actually, Shyler. And uh, is that a girl or a boy? That's a, a little girl. What's your five-year-old's name? Well, Orlando Jr., actually. What's the 11-year-old's name? My 11-year-old's name. <laughs> I got to figure that one out, but if I had the name, if I had the name of anything, it'd be uh, John. What do you mean if you had the name, he doesn't have a name? Not, I mean, like, I haven't met all my children yet. Oh, only really? seen, yeah, I only seen Mason when he was little. Um, but as far as the little girls and everything, I haven't met I haven't met them yet. Yeah. What's the 16 year old's name? That don't even know that either. Don't know the. No, nope, don't know the 16 year old's name. That's what I'm intending on doing, getting you know back with the fam and figuring out you know who everybody is and what what everything is. Yeah. You know? What's your full name? My full name is Orlando Brown, Prince yeah. Michael Jackson Jr. And uh, that's AKA Blanket. <laughs> So what's Prince Michael Jackson Jr.? Uh, well, it's my, 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 my nickname like I gave to myself. Because, um, yeah, my, my father was Michael Jackson, great Michael Jackson. So. Your, your father was Michael Jackson. Coming up. What were you arrested for? That was uh, trespassing on basically my own property. You were trying to get into the place when it was locked and so the police Yeah, came. yeah, basically. But they dropped it, they dropped everything and dismissed the whole case. DC is the city of pure craziness. What they're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Yeah. They say divorce or separate. What? The book is officially out this Sunday. I cannot put this book down. I don't have time to take a break. I haven't been able to just be excited. So they renamed my street that I grew up on Quicksilver Way. I'm Joy. And I'm Clifton. Love, sex, and 
paychecks. Clifton kind of saw Ashley rolling her eyes. That bothered him. Where is Monique at tonight? I thought she would be here. Man, stop playing with me for these people, man. Wait, 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 wait. Keep playing with me, and, and I'm going to stop playing nicely. Who's playing with you? It's my way. Chaos. The whole bunch of drama. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Part of Real Drama Weekends on OWN. Love and Marriage Huntsville is back. Let's see if Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more... Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time on other issues. Do you not? Love and Marriage Huntsville. New Reunion Part 2. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza has caramelized crispy cheese edges and a soft, chewy center. Do you love it, Matthew Stafford? I'm not a walking billboard. Okay, never mind. Pizza, pizza. Get Little Caesars Detroit-style deep dish pizza for just eight ninety nine. dollars Pizza, pizza. Junk sleep got you all jumbled up. Oh. It's Mattress Firm's new bed, new you sale. Save up to $500 on the sleep you deserve. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying Sealy purchase. Only at Mattress Firm. I understand that this is all very traumatizing. It's impossible not to think the worst. But I want you to know that we will find him. Come on, let's go, 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 go. We can't stop until we catch this guy. This is life or death. He was safe. You're going home. Alert. Missing Persons Unit Series Premiere. Check local listings. Nice. My favorite show's coming back tonight. Time to cart some snacks through Instacart. I'll get some treats. Who wants some drinks? <gasps> Wait. Did they release the whole season? Yeah, it's gonna be a late night. Better cart some ice cream for the two-part finale. When your day should be ending, but a new season is starting, the world is your cart. Visit instacart.com or download the app and get free delivery on your first order. I'm your glitchy Wi-Fi, and I've decided, well, if you're on vacation, I am too. <laughs> Which means your smart home isn't so smart. Sprinkler on. And now I'm sending mixed signals to your garage. But if you haven't bundled your home in auto coverage, trying to unpack this isn't going to be too much fun. Hey, check the router. So get all state. You better protect it from mayhem while saving up to 25% when you bundle home in auto. This is Mary Ann's first time visiting Paris. Madame, where are you? Uh... Before Mary Ann packed her bags, before she attempted her first sentence in French, before she completed her first 15 minute lesson, yes. she downloaded Babbel. Babbel helped unlock her lifelong dream of learning French. She started speaking in just three weeks. So when it came time to tell the cab driver to take her to the Hotel Pierre... J'aimerais aller à l'Hotel Pierre. Oh, c'est très bien. J'espère votre voyage est bien passé. 150 language experts and educators designed Babbel to be the most efficient and effective way to learn a new language. Babbel focuses on natural conversation. You'll remember what you learn, and you can speak and pronounce with confidence. Start speaking a new language in three weeks. Try it for free at Babbel.com. Let the chips fall where they may. There are some things that I've heard. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is too much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. Dr. Phil's exclusive interview continues. So what's Prince Michael Jackson Jr.? Oh, uh, well, it's my, 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 my nickname I, I gave to myself. Um, because, yeah, my, my father was Michael Jackson, great Michael Jackson, so. Your, your father was Michael Jackson? Mm-hmm. How, how do you know he's your father? Well, you hear through the grapevine. <laughs> but aside from that, it's the characteristics of a person. You know, um, I used to always wonder why I'm, I'm so astronomically blessed with, and gifted when it comes to being talented. You know, I rap, sing, do, and I do everything immaculately. The eyes, um, and also just speaking to, to, to different Jackson family members that, you know, have confirmed it. So, uh, 
yeah, it's just a, it's a blessing to know that I can sit here today and say that, yeah, that Michael Jackson was my father. But the reason you say he's your father is because he was very talented and you're very talented? No, no, no. Based off of actually, like I said, fa actual family members letting me know and telling me, and, and um, also my mother. Your family members have told you? Mm hmm. His family members or your family members? His and mine. Because I, I know a lot of his family members. Yeah, well, they tell, yeah, they just, they call me, they call me Michael Jackson Jr. <laughs> so, um, aside from that, that's that's all the confirmation in the world. When you ask after the first time you hear it, you're like, "Why are you calling me that?" And they they telling you like, "Yeah, boy, that's your daddy." I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Tell me about Neverland. Well, I never been. I know he, he my father would have wanted me to have it. He he uh, left it for me. So that's just something that's uh something that's very awesome to me. Did you know Michael Jackson? No. Uh, I understood he liked to, to hide and wear disguises, so it, it could have been possible I was talking to him and didn't even know it. But at the end of the day, can I actually say I, I met my father? No, I have not. I've read um, a lot of stuff about you back from when you were doing The Raven Show and Cochetti, and, and you never said your father was Michael Jackson. Yeah, because, you know, some things, some things you gotta be ready for. And um, I don't think I, I could have handled it back then knowing that, um, or even sharing that with anybody. But at the end of the day, you know, my job is to make sure the legacy lives on. I was talking to Solomon. He told me that you told him that Will Smith was your dad. No, that's a false statement. You, you didn't tell him that? Why would I tell him that? I don't know. He just said you were in the car one day and told him Will Smith was your dad. Nah, nah, that's not how that goes. Yeah. Oh no, that's not how that goes. And and all all 488 million of my friends do know I don't I don't fabricate or lie. I'm yeah. pretty pretty straight up guy. So <laughs> yeah, you've been uh, arrested some. Mm -hmm. um, that you, you've had some conflict with the law, true? Mm hmm What were you arrested for? Oh, man, recently, that was uh, trespassing on basically my own property. <laughs> trespassing on your own property? Yeah, well, I own a, I own a restaurant with my, with my parents. So, you know, um, I guess. What's the name of the restaurant? It's called Legends on a Strip. Yeah, it's beautiful. So you own it with your parents, so it's part yours? Yeah, yeah. but it's more theirs because I got to be on the road all the time and yeah. stuff like that. I just like to come in there and act like the boss every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, you, you say you own it with your parents. I thought you said your father was Michael Jackson. No, it was. I mean, you know, he, he, was, he was deceased, so therefore this guy's been a, a tremendous father figure in my life. Um, you know, so I, I, I really can't complain about that. You know, without him being in my life, um, then it, it would be nothing, <laughs> pretty much. But so he, um, he's yeah. not really your parent. He's yeah, right. He's just like a father figure, definitely. Uh -huh. Now you were trying to get into the place when it was locked, and so the police. Yeah, came. yeah, basically, um, the, the police were called, but they dropped it. They dropped everything and dismissed the whole case. Yeah. Um, all my cases, for that matter. Um, uh, before that, it was weed. Then mm -hmm. um, I got uh, into an argument with my girlfriend, but uh, they tried to pin a domestic on me. Well, Solomon was telling me that throughout your career that people were really so impressed with your talent and how creative you were. And then when you started drinking and doing drugs, you burned a lot of bridges and that people have turned their backs on you. Coming up. I'm curious about a couple things I want to ask you about. And later. Without your help, Dr. Phil, there's not a doubt in my mind, in my body, in my soul that he was going to be in the streets. He was going to end up dead. He would have never had a chance to. Closed captioning provided by 
fair, freckled, or melanated, we are appreciated. Ultra hydrated, glazed, and glowing. Confidence overflowing. New Vaseline lotions, 90% more moisture for my one-of-a-kind skin. And there's no other skin I want to be in. Come to TurboTax and don't do your taxes. Meet with an expert who will do them for you. So you can do not taxes. The parts of your body that collagen supports. Skin, hair, nails, bones, joints, the left knee, the right knee too. Every shoulder, the tendon in your elbow, the tendon in your vital proteins. For everybody with a body. We're not saying Daily Harvest will change your life or that it will be the first of many steps to healthier habits. But we're not not saying that. We can say that Daily Harvest takes care of food so that food can take care of you. Get started today at dailyharvest.com. Hair has always been pretty central to my identity. Once I started taking Nutrafol, I could visibly see my hair get thicker. It made my hair stronger, and the breakage is less. At Nutrafol, we want to empower women to have the best hair they can have. Nutrafol is 100% drug-free, natural, and the number one dermatologist-recommended hair growth supplement. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. Tap water. How come? Well, because... Whoa. Can I return this love-hate relationship with cookies? Of course. Do you want to return them both or just the hate? I can just return the hate? Yeah. With Weight Watchers, you can eat the foods you love, even cookies, and still lose weight. Start today at www.com. It's Macy's One Day Sale now with great deals of the day, like up to 65% off coats, 40% off designer booties and handbags, and up to 70% off luggage sets. Plus, get it faster with curbside pickup at Macy's. Coming January 21st. The Samuels are looking to, uh, the D word, divorce, separate, something did, like did that. Did they say divorce or separate? What? We just had a whole show prep with our producer and no one told me we were gonna bring us up live on the air today. She says that her and her husband are trying to fix their marriage and denying any divorce rumors. All marriages go through stuff. Does that mean we separate or getting divorced? Absolutely not. Love and Marriage DC. New episodes, Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. Love and Marriage Huntsville is back. You see if Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more. Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time on other issues. Do you not? Love and Marriage Huntsville. New reunion part two. Tonight at 8, 7 central. We now return to Dr. Phil's exclusive interview. Solomon was telling me that throughout your career that people were really so impressed with your talent and how creative you were. And then when you started drinking and doing drugs and all, that you burned a lot of bridges and that people have turned their backs on you. I'm not here to talk about what Solomon said, but what I'm here to talk about is the positive. You know what I mean? Like, Well, I'm asking you about what he said because well, I, I am here to talk I about it. I don't know what he's talking about, but as far as all the, I don't have any enemies like I told you. You know, but there are messy people that like to say things <laughs> yeah. to, to shake people up. But, you know, like, I'm I, I'm not here for gossip. You know, I'm here to make sure that you're all right and you're okay and that we both get back to work the best way we can possible. Well, that's what I'm interested in is you getting back to your career and being healthy and happy. And I'm curious about a couple things I want to ask you about. Solomon brought you here today and told me that he wants me to help you. Now, I'm not really worried about Solomon. I'm more worried about the verbal abuse and, and a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, he has to get, get you know, get off his chest. But I, I do feel embarrassed that he would even try to go that low. So, you know. What's low? Low is to get here and then all of a sudden say something negative to you knowing there's not even, there's no problems. We didn't say anything negative to me. Well, that's how I took it. 
forget him. Let me ask you. I've been doing this for 45 years. So I'm a pretty good judge of whether people are functioning at their peak efficiency or if they're functioning at less than their peak efficiency. And I'm curious if you think you need some help getting yourself sorted out so you can get back to your career. It's like watching the company you keep is a big thing. But when you're pushed to not have to, you know, basically like watch the company you, you keep, meaning if you have people that know who you are b before you, it becomes a problem. That's been my problem. So right now I need help with is me basically having my home, my kids and my wife. That's all I need. And like I mentioned earlier, four years sober, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I need to help. I think the people, some people on, on the outside need to grow up and they need to really take responsibility for what they've done in their lives and stop trying to hide between other people's masks. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, when you've been arrested and, and put in jail and encountered conflict with authority and all, have you ever been diagnosed with a mental illness or put on medication? I have medication um, because I was forcefully taken to one of the mental institutions. Mm -hmm. Before that, I was in the ER, and before that, I was in a, in a rehab. Before that, I was in jail. Medication help you? It, it stops you from talking. So no, it doesn't, yeah. it, you know, it's, it, it makes you sound like <laughs> Yeah, it sometimes can be too much. Yeah, yeah, so, but I mean, I find it, I find that when, when mm. I have panic, panic attacks or something like that, it, you know, it helps out there. Um, but I'm, I'm really having panic attacks now because everything's coming, coming together in my life, so. Let me tell you what I think. Can I tell you what I think? Coming up. I think you're making a big mistake by not hearing me because I think what you're going to do is you're going to go back out there you're going to wind up being homeless, arrested and in trouble again. Closed captioning provided by Let the chips fall where they may. There are some things that I've heard. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 central. <laughs> It's Macy's one day sale now with great deals of the day, like up to 65% off coats, 40% off designer booties and handbags, and up to 70% off luggage sets. Plus get it faster with curbside pickup at Macy's. Purina One has the inside story on your pet's health. It starts inside the gut with Purina One with microbiome balance. Natural prebiotic nutrition promoting gut health and immune support. Purina One with microbiome balance. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Liberty Mutual. They customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Contestants ready? Go! No! Oh, no, 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 no. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Ubrelvi helps you fight migraine attacks. You do it all. One dose of Ubrelvi quickly stops migraine in its tracks within two hours. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Ask about Ubrelvi at any time, anywhere. Migraine medicine. Sometimes the lows of bipolar depression feel darkest before dawn. With Capilita, there's a chance to let the light shine through and light tomorrow with the hope from today. This is a chance to let in the light. Capilita is a once daily pill that is proven to deliver significant relief across bipolar depression. Unlike some medicines that only treat bipolar 1, Capilita treats both bipolar 1 and bipolar 2 depression. And in clinical trials, movement disorders and weight gain were not common. Call your doctor about sudden mood changes, behaviors, or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants may increase these risks in young adults. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke. Report fever, confusion, stiff or uncontrollable muscle movements which may be life-threatening or permanent. These aren't all the serious side effects. In the darkness of bipolar 1 and 2 depression, Capilita can help you let in the light. Ask your doctor about Capilita today. Find savings and support at Capilita.com. The master 
mystery of water is my domain. This? This is my Kohler digital shower. Summon your ultimate shower. Visit Kohler.com. Love and Marriage Huntsville is back. You see, if Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more... Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time on other issues. Do you not? Love and Marriage Huntsville. New reunion part two. Tonight at 8, 7 central. We now return to Dr. Phil's exclusive interview. Let me tell you what I think. I think you're a, a really nice guy. And I don't have any trouble understanding why you've been so successful, because you're really charming. And uh, you. you clearly have that ability to pop off the screen and uh, get people's attention. I think sometimes life can really get us kind of balled up. And you know, you say you've been four years clean and sober, but there are long-term effects when we do crystal meth and things that can really affect the neurotransmitters in our brain. And whenever we do certain drugs, it can connect half a thought with another half a thought, so it can get pretty confusing. And I think there's a real good chance that what you've been through has caused you to have some neurological disruption well, no, not necessarily. Me personally, not to cut you off. Me personally, it's not about, you know, saying effort or anything. It's, it's very clear to me that some of your thinking is confused. And I think that you need some treatment for that that will unravel that. And I think in a very short time, you can get back to being the Orlando that has been so successful in your life. And I know that even with some of that confusing and racing thoughts, that somewhere in there, you know what I'm saying is right. And somewhere in there, you know that I'm offering to help you and you should take that help. I'm four years sober for a reason. I just now got out of rehab. I just now got out of an ER. I just got out of, I'm not doing no more time away from my kids other than I need to. I, I appreciate that, but me being free after being locked behind bars for no reason and being set up, oh, like I'm not, I can't dedicate another 90 days of being monitored all my life. I don't need that crap like other people. It's a slap in the face to people that actually need it. So you want to get back to your you want to get back to your kids? Yeah, it's like yeah, I want my kids to be with me in Neverland. I just don't want to. And how old are your kids? Um, I got a two-year-old, four, uh, two-year-old, uh, five, no, she has five-year-old, um, I think he's eight and 11. All right. Now, and what's the two-year-old's name? Two-year-old, um, still in the belly. <laughs> still in the belly. We don't know yet. Okay. And what's the five-year-old's name? Uh, that's Mason. And the 11-year-old? Shiloh. Okay. Can I show you something? Yeah. I asked you before... Yeah. If you had kids, you said, yes, I have four. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, what are their ages? You said two, five, 11, and 16. Mm -hmm. I said, what's the, what's the two-year-old's name? You said Shiler. Okay. The five-year-old is Mason. Right. The 11-year-old is John. Right. 16-year-old, I don't know. I got to find out. Right. I asked you this time, you said the two-year-old don't know the name because it's still in the belly. That's because I have a baby on the way as well. I just mentioned so that. So <laughs> the two-year-old is still in the belly, so that means that that child has been in there for two years. Not necessarily. And then you said the five-year-old is Mason. Then you said there's an eight-year-old. Up here, you didn't say there was an eight-year-old. Down here, you said there's an 11-year-old, and you right. didn't mention a 16-year-old. Did you, did you not hear me say before you started this whole conversation about my kids? What I said was, I have a lot of kids, but I'll say I'll have four right now. That's yeah. exactly what I said. <laughs> so yeah. me, as a father, still trying to jump back into that life and figure out who everybody is, you can't ridicule me for not knowing exactly. I'm not ridiculing you. All right. Well, yeah, because, I, I mean, of course I'm going to make a mistake if I haven't seen my kids. They were taken from me. <laughs> but how long has it been since you've seen these kids? D bro, honestly, I see my kids everywhere. But at the end of the day, like I said, I barely, don't, I barely see them. I don't know them. They don't know me. That's what this whole thing is about. Being able to identify and 
you know, get back with my kids and stuff. I'm not showing you this to make you feel bad about not being around your kids. I made the point that right now, you're an extremely intelligent guy. Mm -hmm. And I said, but you're confused in your thinking? And as evidence that you're confused in your thinking 30 minutes apart, you are confused about names and dates of yeah, children. Yeah, well, I'm trying to put that together. That's what I'm supposed to be here for. I came here today to offer you some help. I think it is in the form of a mental illness that can be dealt with very handily. Mm -hmm. um, I've offered you that, and you have rejected my offer. Um, and I respect that, respect your no, right respect to do that. You. You're awesome. And um, <laughs> I, I think you're making a big mistake by not hearing me and, and not doing what I'm recommending, because I think what you're going to do is you're going to go back out there and you're going to wind up being homeless and arrested and in trouble again when alternatively you could get yourself straightened out. I think you got a great life ahead of you if you'll just claim it. I think you're going to be the star you were. Yeah, but you start just like my dad, you know. Michael was yeah. the biggest star in the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I've arranged some help for you locally if you want it and it's there for you. Dr. Caligi is the is the director of it and he's agreed to help you and I'll introduce him to you just so you know him if you ever want to talk to him. Hey Doc. How are you doing Hi. sir? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Good, Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Dr. Caligi is the director at Creative Care in Malibu and you guys could help him immensely don't you? Think? Absolutely. We can certainly do some evaluation, do some testing, get you on the right track. It's a yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, that sounds place. cool, but I don't have the time right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I really wish I did have the time. Like, right. I've been going through treatments and, and a lot of group sessions and all this stuff unnecessarily in the first place, but I, I refuse to let myself believe that, you know, um, that I have a problem. If it's not broke, don't face it. Yeah, Solomon, come on yeah. in. Have Solomon come in. Hey, come yeah, in. So, here, you get my chair. I'll sit next to you here. I was just saying to Orlando that, uh, Dr. Caligi here is here that could take him out to this beautiful place in uh, Malibu and help him out, give him a great place to stay and work on himself while he's there. And he says uh, he doesn't have time. I asked him where he's going to go when he leaves here. Do you know? I, I think that is the best thing, bro. I think that before we do anything else, I think it's no, imperative no, no. that we like, do. Well, like I said, I got a lot of girlfriends, so. <laughs> what if I go with you? Bro, you, you tripping right now. Anyways, yeah, thank you, sir. I, I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. If I can help you at some time, you, you so let much. me know. Thank All you. right, you got it. Coming up. I don't need nothing right now for people to, uh, to back me up. I didn't come out here to go to Malibu, man. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. Love & Marriage Huntsville is back. Let's see if Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more... Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time on other issues. Do you not? Love & Marriage Huntsville. New Reunion Part 2. Tonight at 8, 7 Central. Now, experience a non-invasive filler developed with dermatologists. New Rock Derm Correction Serum with our patented retinol formula. 97% had lines filled instantly and deep wrinkles reduced in four weeks. It's clinically proven. Even the most chill of parents know when it's time to go into protect mode. Nothing kills more viruses on more surfaces than Lysol disinfectant spray. I'm Dr. Shannon Klingman, a board certified OBGYN and the founder of Lumi, the world's first whole body deodorant that you can use anywhere you have odor but wish you didn't. It's outrageously effective. Check us out and give Lumi a try today. I'm on the Slim Fast plane. Hey! I found that Slim Fast of the 80s. This is today's Slim Fast. Vanilla Almond Crunch Intermittent Fasting Bar. It has all the nutrients to help you break your fast. I'd break anything for this. <laughs> At St. Jude, the mission is just something that everyone can truly get behind. Get our little St. Jude pin there on the fridge. We're just regular people donating. Yeah. And I think it's cool to be able to make a difference in someone's lives in a way that is meaningful. Natural isn't cutting it, Mother Nature. I'm picking remedies from the cold and flu aisle. That's natural, too. You made this? I made these. Coldies, packed with zinc, proven to shorten colds. It works. Naturally. Berwick. 
Why burn a candle when you can switch to Airwick Essential Mist? It's the modern way to transform fragrance infused with natural essential oils into a mist. Airwick Essential Mist. Connect to nature. Welcome, baby, to the world of plants with organic Gerber Plantastic, Gerber's first range of plant protein recipes for little ones. Made from yummy beans, grains, and veggies. Make their world plantastic. You Brelvi helps you fight migraine attacks. You put it all on the line. You do it all. So you bring You Brelvi. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, You Brelvi is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong 6384 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy can help you save. Ask about You Brelvi, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Meet mix styles. They stick and re-stick. Choose from dozens of sizes, frames, and styles. Over 100,000 people give Mixed Tiles an excellent rating. You'll get free shipping and a full money-back guarantee. Go to MixedTiles.com, upload your pictures, pick a fancy frame, and voila. For a limited time, buy 10 and get 10 for free. Use code TV. Let the chips fall where they may. There are some things that I've heard. I think he's a fraud, and I don't think he's a good person. It's only going to get worse. I ain't going to do this with everybody. This is so much. Ready to Love. New episode, Friday, 8, 7 Central. We now return to Dr. Phil's exclusive interview. So, I did I'm not going to that place, so. Do you want to take a ride and just see it? No, I don't. Are you sure? I always step in my face. But what about if I tell you that we'll take you to Malibu and we'll help you to get all these things? Okay, well, I'm telling you, I'm not finna do that. I'm not doing that. I just did that. I'm four years sober. I don't need nothing right now for people to uh, to back me up. All I'm trying to do is. You know is, what I think I you need? I think I'm you, tired I of think, people telling me what I think I you need this. a break. I think I, you need a break. I, no, no, no. I think, honestly, I just need be I had a break. Honestly, I need people to stop nagging me about what they think I should do. Man, look, I, I, I'm not doing <laughs> I'm not doing it. I, I, with respect, I respect everything that y'all are trying to do, but y'all are trying to put me in a position to where I cannot use my phone. I cannot do anything for another 30 days, and I need to get to work. My emails are backed up, all that. I've done everything that everybody has asked me to do. This time, I'm not doing that. Because I'm I'm ready and I feel like I feel like I'm getting picked, picked on and bullied on no, because I, I know my it's I know what's jail, going on. It's not jail. We want you to work. Bruh, That's our whole goal. I, me, I'm the one that said fame. I'm not begging to get back into Hollywood. That part, I'm not begging for but my kids and what's rightfully mine. So let us help you get that. I should. What do you mean help me? We we'll help you. Okay, well, that's cool. But other than that, I should not have to go nowhere but a corporate housing. Well, guess what? Malibu and the I'm not that going I'm to Malibu. I'm not going to Malibu. It's probably nicer than any. I didn't come out here to go to Malibu. I didn't come out here to go to Malibu, man. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. What he's saying is making a lot of sense to me. Uh, he's been in and out of programs that seem to all promise him a bright future mm -hmm. and it hasn't worked. He's been in situations where people want things from him and that's what a lot of people with his kind of success have in their life. Uh, but I, I think that, you know, we've come to an understanding, at least between the two of us, that Dr. Phil and Creative Care don't have anything that we want from you. They work with a lot of creative artists um, they use music in their program. You have another one and, right here. Well, I know. We, and that's the hardest part is to see that great deal of potential that he's talking about going and staying at a girlfriend's house or something. Man, you ought to be someplace that's your own, using your talents and skills for gain in your own life with some stability where you can take that on and use this opportunity as a launching pad to continue in your pursuits in a way that feels good to you. You don't got to come here. Honestly, I don't know what you're trying to do. Well, what's that mean, Orlando? It's whatever, bro. Yeah, he's in. Coming up.
without your help, Dr. Phil, there's not a doubt in my mind, in my body, in my soul that he was going to be in the streets. He was going to end up dead. He wouldn't have never had a chance. Closed captioning provided by... People going to talk in D.C. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. I'm back. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. You go by lots of titles. Veteran, son, dad. It's time to get out. No. Hairstylist and cheerleader. So adding a student title might feel overwhelming. But what if a school could be there for all of you? Career, family, finances, and mental health. It's coming along. Well, it can National University, supporting the whole you. Bad bed makes for a bad back. During Mattress Firm's New Bed, New You sale, save up to 50% on top brands with Sealy Queen mattresses starting at $349.99 and Sleepy starting at $179.99. Only at Mattress Firm. We're not saying Daily Harvest will change your life or that it will be the first of many steps to healthier habits. But we're not not saying that. We can say that Daily Harvest takes care of food so that food can take care of you. Get started today at dailyharvest.com. Hair has always been pretty central to my identity. Once I started taking Nutrafol, I could visibly see my hair get thicker. It made my hair stronger. And the breakage is less. At Nutrafol, we want to empower women to have the best hair they can have. Nutrafol is 100% drug-free, natural, and the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement. Nutrafol has taken me back to the hair I was meant to have. Start your hair growth journey at Nutrafol.com. I'm a screen-addicted tween, and if I'm not posting on social media, I don't feel seen. Oh, my God, Mom, you got to no. look at this. No, keeping my eyes on the road is paying off with DriveWise. Boring. Get DriveWise from all state and save for avoiding mayhem. Like me. Purina One has the inside story on your pet's health. It starts inside the gut with Purina One with microbiome balance. Natural prebiotic nutrition promoting gut health and immune support. Purina One with microbiome balance. Only Dizzy Cottage. Love and Marriage Huntsville is back. You see if Melody ever held accountability for anything ever. With more. Don't play with me, girl. Drama. You call me all the time on other issues. Do you not? Love and Marriage Huntsville, new reunion part two, tonight at 8, 7 central. I think that uh, we're going to be heading out to Malibu and he's going to get the treatment that he needs. I feel really relieved because first of all, if he didn't do this, I was going to have to leave him somewhere. I don't know where, but he was going to end up somewhere. He was going to be on YouTube, TMZ. He might have got arrested doing something stupid. At least he has a chance. He has a fighting chance. He just has to do the right thing. He has to have the right care. Without your help, Dr. Phil, there's not a doubt in my mind, in my body, in my soul that he was going to be in the streets. He was going to end up dead. He wouldn't have never had a chance, that's for sure. Right now, at least he has a chance. He has a fighting chance. He can make a comeback. He can do whatever he wants. Right now, because he has the opportunity, the world sees what he's going through, the world loves him, and um, that's all because of you. Hope that he's going to be okay. Well, the good news is Orlando did accept our offer of treatment and has been at a dual diagnosis facility here in California since the conclusion of this interview. Now, Orlando has been committed to treatment and has made great strides. Now, look, this is just the beginning of his long road to recovery, but so far, he has proved that he is willing to do the work. His ultimate success clearly will be up to him, and we wish him nothing but the best and are so proud of the work that he has done so far. Now, if you know someone who is struggling with drug or alcohol addiction or is wrestling with a mental illness, go to drphil.com for more information because you have to reach out for help in these matters. Thanks for watching. All right.